Level 3 of the AI and KM relationship. In this final video in our series, we look at Level 3 of the AI and KM relationship. This is where things get truly transformational and where the way in which we work will change forever. A bold statement, I'll grant you that, but let me explain what I mean and you can be the judge. Okay, to gauge the scale of change and impact that will be delivered by level three of the AI and KM relationship, just think back to a time in history around the early 2000s when Google went mainstream and access to all knowledge created by the human species became available to everyone for free in near real time. Well, I think you can agree there is no one today who can argue that the Google moment, as I like to call it, was a point of no turning back. The same no way back moment is going to happen again when level three of the AIKM relationship starts to happen. Let's explore this in more detail. In our story from the level one video, we looked at a character called Ellie, who was a client manager for a green tech company. We discussed how AI would be used by Ellie to help her prepare for an upcoming client meeting by focusing on explicit knowledge inside her company in multiple formats and then delivering a step change in productivity by analyzing this knowledge and producing a client presentation for her to review and iterate with AI. Okay, let's stay with the Ellie story and fast forward to the moments directly after her client meeting. This is an area where current knowledge management techniques have always struggled. Of course, good client managers will write up their post-client meeting report to share what they have learned from their client meetings with the rest of their colleagues in the organization. But human written reports are limited and will often fail to capture the nuance and unusual observations that occur in a meeting. As a means of capturing critical tacit knowledge and converting it to explicit knowledge, post-meeting reports are a crude tool. Now, of course, there are also collaborative spaces like Communities of Praxis, which we looked at in the Level 2 video. CFPs are another means to convert tacit knowledge into explicit knowledge, and for sure, that is a good advancement. But again, it is dependent on the holder of that tacit knowledge having the correct moment and opportunity and desire to share their knowledge in the relevant community of practice. It's certainly better than reports, as it lends itself to a degree of good interaction, it is by definition limited and doesn't scale well. Let's think about this for a second. If every client manager shared all their tacit knowledge in a community of practice, prompted by both AI and other community members, then very quickly the community of practice would become bloated with too much explicit knowledge that may or may not be of value to all members and a good community manager would have no choice but to move quickly to curtail that, to protect the momentum and the sustainability of the community of practice. So there needs to be a better way. Now consider this scenario. Directly after her client meeting, on her way back, on her journey back to the office or heading home, Ellie is prompted by her AI avatar. Let's call him Mikey to share her tacit knowledge. But now, Ellie doesn't need to work hard at writing another report or thinking about what tacit knowledge to share with Mikey. Her AI avatar uses adaptive learning technology to modify each of its questions based on Ellie's answers. Here is an example of what I mean. Mikey, the AI avatar. Hi, Ellie. I hope the meeting went well. Are you ready to chat about it? Ellie. Yes, it went well. Thanks, Mikey. And sure, go ahead and ask me whatever you like. Mikey, okay, on a scale of one to five, how would you rate the meeting? One being not very good and five being outstanding. Ellie, oh, let's see, I think I would give it a four. Mikey, and what are your reasons for that score? Ellie, well, the key stakeholders were in attendance and they're very excited about the new launch of their first solar powered car in San Francisco. Also, a major strategic investor has come in, which opens the door for a possible M&A play. Mikey, this is very good news. Is the strategic investor by any chance a company called XYZ or is it some other party? Ellie, yes, that's right. How did you know that, Mikey? Is XYZ making other moves in the marketplace that I should know about? Mikey, yes, XYZ are looking at acquiring infrastructure partner ABC. And so on, you get the idea. The AI avatar Mikey is capturing Ellie's tacit knowledge in a creative, adaptive way 
always seeking to find critical or valuable knowledge based on other knowledge that it holds from other AI avatars that have been sharing with Mikey, what they have captured from other client meetings conducted by humans at the company. All mind-blowing, I accept, but it doesn't stop there. It is also sharing knowledge with Ellie that it can be prompted by Ellie herself to provide. For example, Ellie, do you know if any of my colleagues have had any interactions directly or indirectly with company XYZ in the last three months? Mikey, yes, Sarah Hardaway in our Baltimore office attended a conference where she met Peter Devine, the head of sales at XYZ last month. Would you like me to send you my report of their meeting? Or I can schedule a quick call with you and Sarah as I can see her diary looks good for later this week. Or you can just ask me more questions now. Whatever works for you, Ellie. And so in this way, we are seeing that knowledge is being effortlessly captured and shared at speed across the organization in a way that is truly transformational and a way that humans alone simply cannot achieve. Of course, this brings up the role of the knowledge manager in this level three of the AIKM relationship. Well, this is where it gets really interesting. Just as we saw in the last video, how the role of the community manager will change with the use of AI. So we will see the emergence of a new skill in knowledge management. For now, I'll call it the AI avatar knowledge manager. The ability to manage AI avatars and their knowledge gathering activities to best serve all employees and their different agendas. For now, I'll leave you to think and meditate on this new role and the skills that will be required. One thing that should be pretty clear to you now is that AI and KM will form a powerful, unstoppable alliance that will change the way we work forever.